What's up everyone? This is Zach Hampel at Progressive Field in Cleveland. This is going to be the 11th game that I've ever seen at this stadium, going back to the days when it used to be called Jacobs Field, but it's only going to be the third time that I've done a video here. Did a couple last year, so if you haven't seen those, make sure to look for them. This should be a good game today. The Astros are in town. They're in first place. They look legit. A lot of good hitters on that team. Beautiful weather, short sleeves as you can see, even though it's April. So the ball should really be flying out of here. On a personal level, I gotta apologize if I look a little rough around the edges. I got about two hours of sleep last night. I woke up at around 4.30 a.m. in Denver. Just went to two games at Coors Field, but I'm feeling good, I'm holding it together. I don't drink coffee, I don't need it. Baseball gets me excited. And I have a somewhat lofty goal today of getting nine baseballs, because I've gotten 91 baseballs here at this stadium over the years. And as I've mentioned, one of my long-term goals is to get triple digits at every stadium. So maybe today is the day, let's head on inside. Two quick baseballs hit by left-handed batters on the Indians, not sure who. Both Arizona spring training balls, so I'm off to a good quick start. Thank you. Thank you so much. I guess that's my welcome back to Cleveland ball. That dude recognized me when I was here last year. He watches these videos, and he hooked me up last year with the ball, and here's another one, so that's pretty cool. They're all Arizona spring training balls today. I like that. Three so far, off to a really good start. Man, that was pretty good. In a little over one group of batting practice, I got five baseballs. So if I don't get at least four more, if I don't get at least five more and reach double digits, then something has to go wrong. I really like how this day is going so far. Oh, check it out. Oh, it is a 40th anniversary ball for the Seattle Mariners. Oh man. I I mean I'm I think I'm going to go to Seattle anyway this season, but to get one of these out of the way early in April, that is just oh man, I'm I'm almost at a loss for words. I'm so happy right now. George Springer hooked it up. That was kind of funny. A guy put up his hat and the ball kind of yanked the hat out of his hand, and a guy with his glove behind caught both the ball and the hat. I feel like he should get to keep both. That was a crazy ricochet right there, a line drive home run to right center. It hit that metal barricade and skipped up right to me. If I didn't get my glove up in time, I think I would have taken it right off the nose. So that is number seven on the day. Evan Gaddis once again in the cage. I'm ready for it. It almost looks like Gaddis isn't even swinging that hard, but here we go. Oh. Heads up, heads up. I mean, that's a right-handed batter who just hit one off the back wall of that first bullpen here. I mean, that's got to be like 420, 430 maybe. Yeah. Craig, are we playing catch or what? I got to get loose. Ricochet right there. Love it. Baseball number eight on the day. There it is. The first ball I've caught on the fly today, number nine, and this is number 100 lifetime at this stadium. So that feels good. No, I don't know. I got a few already. I 
should have maybe backed up and caught it on the fly. But it's so steep here and I'm not used to the angles and I just misjudge it by a couple of feet. That's it for BP. The Astros took three groups. The first was great. Tons of action out in right field. The second group was meh. The third group, I was up here in the left field bleachers. There were a bunch of balls hit up here. I only got one, but that makes it 11 total for the day. So feeling really good about that. Double digits, never gonna complain about that. All right, check this out. This is called the Slider Dog. It's a hot dog with uh, pimento mac and cheese, bacon, and you can see all these Fruit Loops on top. So, uh, yeah, once again, I just love to eat as many calories as possible when I'm at a game. Keeps me full all night. Burn it off in batting practice, no harm done. Bottom of the third inning is about to get started. Indians jumped out to a quick 3-0 lead. No home runs yet. Sitting out in that section in right center field where I was for BP. And just on the other side of these barricades, if you swing around this way, you can see that I'm in an area called Heritage Park. This is half of it. There's another half up above that wall there. And it just basically pays tribute to the greatest Cleveland Indians in history with all these plaques and little monuments. Really cool piece of history right there. Evan Gaddis just launched a home run in the top of the fourth inning, which almost cleared the trees and the tall wall out in right center field. It could have landed in Heritage Park, but it fell short and landed in that tree area. And I was just out here talking about the plaques and the way they're set up, it creates an interesting situation where you can just kind of see through and there's a fence and then the trees on the other side. So home run balls can land in there. And some of the regulars here have these little gadgets where it's like they'll take a ruler that can sort of unfold or they'll even use a selfie stick and they can reach through the fence and kind of scoop the balls back toward them. So there were actually multiple baseballs in the trees. They got a few of them out. One of them was mud rub, so they're kind of assuming that that was a Gaddis home run, but it's hard to know for sure. No, no, no! <laughs> got it. Wow. Ryan McCann home run ball. Bobbled by the fans in front, I tried to get around them, couldn't quite reach. It, it bounced back into the aisle, and I think my cameraman actually had a play on it, and I was like, no, no, no! It's like, if I'm paying him to be here, he's not gonna snag the ball away from me. So, that's pretty cool. I saw McCann play at Yankee Stadium dozens of times, always wanted a home run ball from him, and I had to come out to Cleveland to get one, so. Awesome, first game home run of the year. This is my 50th game home run ball ever, so this is really special for me. Bottom of the seventh inning, Indians are on top seven to four. And this area, this section down by the bullpens is such a great experience. The access, there's nothing like it. You can talk to the players on that side, and if you're standing right here from this angle, you can watch the relievers warming up. The balls just practically come right at you. So I love being down here. Getting that game home run felt extra great. And there's still two innings remaining. Arizona spring training ball. So yeah, 
Yeah, I think I got like half a dozen AZ balls. I got a Seattle commemorative ball, some regular balls. I reached triple digits lifetime for the stadium, hit double digits for the day, the game home run. I mean, what a day overall. And perfect weather, a nice change from yesterday in Denver. I guess the only other goal I have right now is to get back to the hotel and get some sleep. I'll be back out here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.